Uh, turning back to the Jennings Creek wildfire in our area where officials have just wrapped up their daily status update. Uh, crews are making progress in the New Jersey side where the Forest Service says it is happy with containment efforts to date. And on the New York side, what a difference a day makes. We were able to use some Jersey folks to help us burn out several hundred acres yesterday, which was a tremendous, tremendous help that took our containment from down around 30 percent up to a containment in New York State of around 65 percent. Uh, however, uh, high winds are threatening to unravel some of the progress firefighters have made in containing the Jennings Creek fire. ABC's Morgan Norwood has that part of our story. The wildfire threat across the Northeast expanding with high winds and drought conditions, elevating the fire danger. A red flag warning issued for New England from Connecticut to New Hampshire. And it comes as firefighters across the region continue to race to contain the raging Jennings fire in New York and New Jersey. ABC's Ginger Z breaking down the wind threat. As we go through the weekend, we're going to have a warm up and it's also going to be very windy. We're going to be squeezed between this high and low and that increases how the winds shift over the Northeast. So we can see gusts tomorrow up to 40 miles per hour. More than 4,300 acres have burned from the Jennings Creek wildfire. Though it's at least 75% contained, firefighters finding it difficult to get to rugged areas and are keeping a close eye on the winds. We don't completely have a handle on this. Our hopes and anticipation are that we will, um, but you know, depending on wind, where these embers blow and, and uh, you know, the number of fires that come along during this period of time, you know, nothing's guaranteed. Crews calling in more resources. National Guard helicopters dropping in water. New York State Police using infrared drones to help identify fire hotspots. You know, you can clearly see on the visual display, you just see a lot of smoke and haze in the air. But when you go into that IR mode, you can actually drill down and see where the hot spots are. Fires in the Northeast fueled by the driest fall on record and gusty winds. Hundreds of firefighters have been battling multiple fires across the region. And the fire risk also elevated in Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Vermont. It's been an unprecedented year as far as um, the dryness that we're seeing here in New Jersey, New York as well. New York, New Jersey and Pennsylvania all under a fire weather watch this weekend when winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.